CataractCoach.com. Dense cataract, divide and conquer. Yes, this technique can work quite well for brunes and cataract. So our guest surgeon here is Dr. Vinicius Anastasio from Brazil. And we're going to show you the video two times normal speed. You can see this is a very dense cataract, brunescent. So some surgeons have asked me, you always talk about phaco chop and quick chop and vertical chop and combo chop. And can I just do divide and conquer? Of course, you do what's best in your hands. And if you like divide and conquer, it's a very appropriate technique. And so you're welcome to just do the divide and conquer the entire of your career. And you can do a beautiful surgery and have great results. Ultimately, there are many ways of doing the surgery. So there's no one right way or wrong way. If you get a good outcome with your technique, then that's what counts. So you can see this is very brunescent, very dense. So trying to loosen up that nucleus, see if you can get it to spin. Be careful if you do hydro dissection here. Because you can't really see the fluid wave going across. you got to look at the very subtle clues of does the nucleus come forwards. And so he's just using the chopper. In a case like this, a lot of the cortex has already been liquefied. And so there's really not a whole lot of cortex. It's mostly nucleus. And so now he's going inside here and really getting that nucleus to rotate again. Look, no hydro dissection. Just using two choppers here and getting that nucleus mobile. And now, let's see, a little more viscoelastic going in there. Here comes the phaco probe. So we're going to divide and conquer technique. So cleaning up some of that central cortical material, what little is left there, getting the view. And again, very dense cataract. So here comes the groove. Now a couple important things. You're going to use a lot of energy to make the grooves. Look how nicely the phaco needle stays centered in the incision. You need to do that. If you ride the sides of the roof of the incision, you're going to cause a wound burn. But obviously Dr. Anastasio is an expert here and he has a beautiful job of keeping that probe beautifully floating and pivoting in the incision. And there's the nucleus grooved once, that looks great, rotating at 180 to continue the groove to really get down deep enough. So remember, this may have a dense posterior plate and there's a little bit of a crack and you can see how he propagates the crack all the way through to really separate that posterior plate. Now rotating it back to get more grooving done. But first, what do you think he's gonna do now? Of course, more viscoelastic, gotta protect that corneal endothelium. So aiming this not into the groove, but aiming the viscoelastic up towards the central corneal endothelium. That's important. So probe going back inside the eye here, getting a complete split of that first groove. And so now that's it. Now you've got two hemi-nuclear pieces. And now these can be grooved again. And so they can be grooved again. And the divide and conquer, obviously, is going to divide it one more time here on this side. This half's going to be divided into two quadrants. And a good, he's just checking to see how deep he is. And once he's sufficiently deep there, really separating the pieces. I like that he holds that one piece with the phaco probe in high vacuum and in order to separate that. So when that first quadrant's removed, once the first quadrant comes out of the eye, it's going to be a lot easier to get the rest out. And so that was very efficient. And then here comes another piece. And look, a little chop as well. So just because you like divide and conquer doesn't mean you can't do a little chop and vice versa. And my advice to you, be proficient in all the techniques. Why would you want to have just one technique, you know, in your toolbox? You want as many techniques as you have as you can get. So there you go. Now going back inside the eye, what is he gonna do now? Come on in, guesses? Of course, more dispersive. Protect that cornea. You know the viscoelastic is cheaper than vitreous. I'll tell you another secret. Viscoelastic is also cheaper than corneal endothelial cells. And now a little bit of a chop. So kind of a hybrid, mostly divide and conquer. Kind of stop and chop, a little bit of everything. I like this technique. This is very nice. Again, breaking the nucleus up into smaller pieces. And then that can be emulsified pretty well. And again, he's just keeping that phaco pro beautifully centered in that incision. The pivoting here is just on point. It's done very, very well. And so here come the last few pieces. Remember, there's not going to be much cortex. And so now, protecting that posterior capsule, getting the last couple of pieces up. There they are. Looks fantastic. Very nicely done. So it's a pleasure to watch. I love to watch other surgeons operate. I learned so much. And that comes out. Notice he didn't do a baby rexus, a nice generous rexus. And that's important. Again, not much cortex to clean up. Maybe just tiny little wispy strands here and there. That'll be easy enough to remove. Here's the viscoelastic. Getting the lens in the bag next. And I got a treat for you. He was nice enough to send in a post-op pic. So I'll show you the post-op results. And what do you think the cornea looks like on post-op day one? 
You think there's a lot of corneal edema? No chance. With this technique and the recoding of the endothelium twice or three times with viscoelastic, this patient's going to have a beautifully clear cornea on post-op day one. That's magical. Taking a patient with a brunescent cataract to sharp vision and a clear cornea the next day, that is just a pleasure. Here's post-op. Look at that. Post-op day one. Nice looking eye. Clear cornea. This patient's absolutely thrilled. Thanks for sending the video. I enjoyed watching it. Thanks for watching these videos. Be sure to check out the website too, cataractcoach.com. You'll get the full text and the graphics and the photos plus the videos. And if you sign up for a free daily email, we'll send all of that to you in your inbox every day for free. Come on, cataractcoach.com. Check it out.